what I've got here is a piece of plexiglass set up, um, you know, on my my uh, easel here, so that I can see Rachel through the plexiglass. And this is really just sort of a metaphor that extends to the entire process of drawing and painting. Um, and sometimes the basics are just really easy to forget. So I kind of want to just, you know, re, uh, revisit this idea that we're creating a two an illusion on two dimensions, right? So it's as if we're looking through a window, we're tracing the lines and shapes and things that we see on there and transferring that to our canvas. And then we're understanding how to create value relationships to create the illusion of volume. But as, it, as that relates to drawing, right? So when you, very, you know, when you set up from the very beginning, you gotta get yourself in one specific point, okay? And that's where I was sort of talking about trying to find some sort of overlap um, so that you know exactly where your station point is in front of, um, in front of your model. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a green marker and I'm going to trace on the, ple the plexiglass what I see. And this is actually a very fun, uh, you know, uh, exercise to do on your own if you've ever got this set up in the studio. Just see how difficult it is actually to stay in one spot. But the idea is, is that we're just going to go up here and I'm just going to, on the surface of the plexiglass, kind of just trace the, the outlines of what it is that I'm seeing. So from the contour of her face, um, you know, up through the hairline, over here, and I'm, I'm basically referencing this, this point here, how much overlap there is here on the nose and the, and the eye and stuff like that. But, so this is, this is the idea, this is what drawing is. It's, we're peering through a window where we're just sort of seeing shapes and in the beginning thinking very, very two-dimensionally as if we don't know what the important things are. Um, and trying to be very just observant and impartial. Um, it's so tough to just stay in exactly the same spot because even you know, the, the picture jumps from my right to my left eye uh, as I'm doing this. So you're, you're getting slightly different vantage points even when you're sitting in exactly the same spot. Um, so that you, just, you have to be really aware of these things and these changes that can happen. Uh, the other thing that you might notice sort of as I'm doing this is that uh, how s the size of it, right? So this is, this is what you might call the sight size of uh, the portrait, so that at arm's length or at this distance from, from me, and I, or I'm sitting this distance from the plexiglass, that's about as big as, as she looks, so it's only two inches. And so you can see that I'm, I'm blowing the, uh, you know, the image up several times to get over here. Um, sometimes when people start their drawing, they, they make these really massive drawings that are almost over life size. And it's just very hard to take, I think, mentally in the beginning those proportions and, and um, multiply them by, you know, several, uh, several factors. So anyway, so, this, so then when we're, when we're doing measurements and when we're thinking two-dimensionally, it goes back to this illustration that I'm, I'm imagining the plexiglass in front of me and I'm taking those measurements. So I'm, I'm measuring, say, from the bottom of the chin to the tear duct that's halfway between the tear duct, the, excuse me, the tear duct is halfway between the chin and the top of the head, right? And so even though later on I'm not using the plexiglass in the drawing process, I'm imagining that that plexiglass is here in front of me, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Just kind of reorient yourself to this, the, the very basics of what um, uh, the, illusion, the illusion is and what perspective is, okay? Um, so I hope that's helpful uh, and um, try it yourself.